My name is Tran. Welcome to my presentation created by the Gravity's team. Our team have a total of three members, Diana, Nicole, and me. Today we would like to give you a presentation about Metcalfe's Law. Let's start off with a little bit of history. Metcalfe's Law was named after an observation of Robert Metcalfe, who founded Three Com Corp in 1981, play a major role in discovering and designing Ethernet technology, developed late 1980s and originally described in part value of a network service to a user that arise from the number of people using the service. The definition of Metcalf laws state that the value of a telecommunications network is proportional to the square of the number of connected users of the system and square. The value or power of a network increases in proportion to the square of the number of nodes on the network. To make it easier, let me show you a diagram of Metcalf's law. This is a diagram that helps users visualize Metcalf's law. You first see the example of two connections, that lastly, you're able to see the network effect between different computer networks. Starting off with two, then it's increased to five, and therefore is a lot more. The value obviously increased significantly. Let's continue with the definition. Metcalfe's law is expressed in two general ways. First, the number of possible cross connections in a network grows as the square of the number of computers in a network increases. Second, the community value of a network grows as the square of the number of its user increases. In other words, if you have four nodes or computers on a network, say an office internet, its value would be four square or 16. If you added an additional knot or a PC, then the value would increase to 25, which is five square. In the next slide, we will talk about a network effect. In the network effect, it has been argued by many that the success of the World Wide Web can be explained by the network effect achieved by the linking page together. Every page connected to the web enhances the value of other pages. In other words, our customer must be linking with each other and with us. In order for network effects to apply, linking must occur. Network effect engines and run in reverse. The value of the network refer to the communication potential of the network. If the negative news about your company goes viral, the network effect can cause its brand to circle about even faster than ever before. Now, let's talk about the value of the network. The value of a network mathematically justification for Metcalfe's law measure only the potential number of contacts. Technological side of a network is an example of this. However, the social utility of a network depends upon the number of knots in contact. If there are language barrier or other reasons why a large part of a network are not in contact with other parts. The effect may be smaller. Is this confuse you? How about I give you a visual example to clear things up a little bit. For instance, a single fax machine is useless 
but the value of every fax machine increases with the total number of fax machines in the network because of the total number of people with whom each other may send and receive documents increases. Is this a better explanation? If not, let me give you another example. In a social network, the greater numbers of users with the service, the more valuable the service becomes to the community. Imagine having a Facebook page and only four other people that you know and have one too. It wouldn't be very convenient or useful. Compare that with the many users of Facebook today. You are able to find old friends, connect with present friends, and interact with new ones. There's a greater value to the social network with more users. I hope those examples help you understand how the network works. Now let's gather our thoughts and talk about business perspective and how it all links together. In a business perspective, there's three things that we should consider. The internet, the web 2.0, and the social networking. With the rise of the internet and web 2.0, it has carried over and can be applied to people. Social networking, in the old days of sale, we would network by asking customers for a referral. Of course, that type of networking is still tremendously valuable, and you should do it on every sales call. With Web 2.0 though, we are now significantly better able to connect and grow our network in a Metcalf's way, exponentially. This is how it works. For example, after every time you met a new client, go back to your desk and link it to them. Do it while you're fresh in their mind and you're fresh in yours. Once you're linked, you can network using their network and as Metcalf Law stated, you will see your network grow greatly. If a customer is on Twitter, Follow them. Facebook maybe makes sense, depend on the type of sales you're in, but stay connected in the network your customer is in. This will help boost up your sales extremely fast. In conclusion, Metcalf's law is often cited as an explanation for rapid growth of the internet, or perhaps more especially for the World Wide Web on the internet, together with Moore's laws about the rate at which computer power is accelerating. Metcalf's law can be used to explain the rising wave of technology that we are riding into the 21st century. This is the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.